Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It's good to be back. We're going to get into a good one today, a really fun fight. Uh, Christian and Billy and Sergey Derevchenko in what promises to be an absolute barn burner slugfest fight. Can't miss. Before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, five dollars a month. Uh, join the Patreon. Five dollars a month. It gets you locked in the week. It gets you all the updated props. It gets you asked to bookie anything. I uh, ask me to request a video. You guys got it. Whatever you need. I'm going to show you how to make money on every single fight um, in that Patreon link. So join the Patreon. Also, Subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, Christian and Billy, a short, stocky guy. Both these guys are, are somewhat similar, but very different at the same time. He starts fast. He, he's he's a killer. He, he's relentless. Rips off everything hard. Throws everything hard. He's wild. He's a seek-and-destroy guy. Um, he destroyed Hefron in 30 seconds. Punishing jab. He pushes it. He comes forward. He pushes his, his shotgun jab out there. He comes forward. He's decent at slipping shots to get inside, right? So he can get inside. He can use his jab to get inside, and he can slip shots to get inside. He's pretty good. He's okay at slipping shots. He's got an okay jab. So he can usually between the two, figure out a way to get inside. He gets wild. He gets hit a lot. He's flawed. He's got problems. He's, this is far from a perfect fighter. He does mix up the head and body well. He just whacks away and whacks away, and he gets on the inside, and he does not let up. He's relentless. I'm just going to keep using that word again. Terrific clubbing power. He throws these, these clubbing shots. Uh, he's got a, a ton of crack. All action, come forward fighter. I mean, fans are going to love him. That's why he's taking all like Again, I think he's limited and, and at, at a world-class level, and he's fighting a world-class fighter, so we're going to get into this. I think he can be exposed by, by a high-level boxer who can move. Uh, but he's got to have some pop because he, if he's not, he's not going to be able to keep this monster off of him. Terrific body punch. He's got a really good chin. Uh, he needs to be on the inside. He's not, he's, no, there's not – Three-level fighter. He's, that's not him. That's not what he is. He throws everything hard. He winds up. He's flawed. He's athletic. He's strong. He's strong as an ox. He can get on the inside, and he's really skilled, really talented, and absolutely relentless on the inside. So you can tell what kind of – you can see what kind of fighter he is. He's, he, he's a come forward, hard-hitting mule is what he is. That's not that hard to hit. Sergey Derevchenko. Uh, Ser Sergey Derevchenko is a fighter that I like a lot. He's he's been a good fighter uh, for a long time. He got robbed in, in a fight with Triple G. Robbed blindly. Uh, he's probably the best fifteen and five fighter I've ever seen. He's coming off a dominating victory at the Barclays Center back in April uh, over Vaughn Alexander. Dropped him in the eighth round with a body shot. Uh, finished the job, dominated the fight, and, and it, it was a really good performance. Fight small, works behind a shotgun jab, similar to and Billy. He getting old. He's thirty eight years old. Um, good power, commits to the shots, commits to the shots. Like I said, best fifteen by fight I've ever seen. Come forward type of guy. This is going to be a train wreck. These two guys are going to crash head on. Like there's no way around this. Throws in good volumes, good combination puncher. Not a ton of movement. He can pivot out and, and, and pivot around. Um, and he's got decent feet for someone who's not super fast, super athletic. Again, close quarter fighters. Goes to the body as well. Quick, he's got a quick one too. Bang, bang. Right, it's, it's quick. He mixes up his levels too. He's, he's similar in, in a lot of ways to him, Billy. And that's what makes this fight intriguing. Head is on the line. He does not, not, not a lot of head movement from this guy either. Um, not real difficult to hit. Neither one of these guys, they're, they're there to be hit. They're there to be found. 
I, I like the athleticism of Mbele a little more, and I like the, the footwork of Davrachenko a little bit more. Loves a firefight. Comes forward. Also super aggressive. Like I said, he's 38 years old. I think he's fading a little bit. His, his legs may be fading a little bit. Uh, although I did, he was right there with Munguia. He got dropped in the last round, which is probably the difference in the fight. And like I like Munguia. I think Munguia is much better than Billy. So it, it's interesting. And that fight with Munguia was not all that long ago, right? Like that was a year ago, 14 months ago. It wasn't that long ago. So this is a fight that I, I find really intriguing. He's 38. Looks like he's fading a little bit. You know, he's still got something left. I just think that there's been too many beatings. He's fighting a killer who is a lot younger than him. And Billy is nine years younger than him, almost a decade younger than him. I, I think this is just going to be a little bit too much. I like M. Billy in this fight. I, I don't love the odds on this fight at all. Um, hang on, let me get the odds pulled up for y'all. Let me get them pulled up for you guys. I'm sorry, I can, I can pull this up. I like this fight not to go the distance. Uh, we'll get to that. There's no props on this thing. Minus 425 on him, Billy. I like him, Billy, to win the fight. You know, I, I wouldn't say this is a lock, although I'm very confident. Like I would say if, if it's minus 300, if it's plus 300 or better, and it's a 50 50 fight, take the guy that's plus 300 or better. I don't see this as a 50 50 fight. I, I think Derek Chambers got a shot. I, I would say this is like 70 30 in Billy. I'm, I'm pretty confident in Billy wins this fight. Uh, Derek Chango is, is a world class fighter. But it's not a world class boxer. I think in order to be beating Billy, you got to be a world class boxer. Uh, Darvinchenko could crack him again. Darvinchenko's got power, and Billy's not hard to hit, so he's got that shot. I just really like him, Billy. I, I, I like the problems. I like this fight to end by knockout. I would bet on and Billy to win by stoppage. I like. We can take a look at that. So join the Patreon. Uh, yeah, definitely join the Patreon. Five dollars a month is going to get you the updated props. Like when the props come out, which they aren't out yet, we're going to show you how to make even more money. On the props, and the props may be your best bet. Uh, I, I this I, I think these odds are a little wide. Minus four twenty five, one times bet is going to make you twenty three fifty two, which is not the end of the world. Uh, this is not a great bet. You know, I'm not thrilled about the bets this week, but this is not bad. And Billy minus four twenty five uh, is going to make you twenty three fifty two. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe for our 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. It is August 13th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.